Here at the Princess Margaret Grand Prix Show Home, we are in a home that is just under 10,000 square feet. It is comprised of three floors, five bedrooms, and four car garage. I don't think there's a single Canadian, or for that matter, anyone in the world that hasn't been touched in some way by cancer. And to be able to learn more about the research that they do, being one of the top five centers in the world, that's why we're here. And I hope they keep that at the forefront of why the lottery does this home and the ability to continue with making strides for cancer research. When I first looked at the blueprints, I knew I had my work cut out for me. It is a huge home, but it's also a spectacular space and every room speaks a little bit differently than the next. The actual great room for me was the very first room that I started with. And for me, I wanted someone to walk in here and not necessarily see all of the small little pieces of furniture, but I wanted to see the room as a whole. I took all of my inspiration from Mother Nature. And in this room in particular, I wanted something that just had this monochromatic, serene color palette with these sandy hues. For me, it's all about the texture, so bringing in the natural stone and the linens and just building this home from there. This oversized gas fireplace was the largest that we could get here for the space, and I think it serves the room beautifully. The two large sculptures flag a fireplace that provided this incredible backdrop. We brought in the same color palette with these muted hues in the marble and then done a natural wood surround. This is an enormous great room with a ton of space to sit. And with that, there's an opportunity to do not one, but two coffee tables. Again, from a functionality perspective, this works beautifully. It can be cleared off and used to entertain with some additional glassware or food and beverage, but also just to relax and unwind with your favorite books or some of your favorite objects that you love and admire. Welcome to the kitchen of the Grand Prize Show Home for Princess Margaret. This by far is one of my favorite rooms in the entire home. We start with this grandiose island, which I think all of us can appreciate this day and age. It's used for everything from homework to family meals. And in this case, there's a few hidden secrets as well in this wonderful kitchen. I've actually justified the legs of the island over to one end and created this wonderful little cubby under here. It allows you additional storage or for moms that still have children with a high chair, you can actually stow away your high chair at the end of the day. And what would be a kitchen without incredible appliances? And this one has everything a chef could ask for and more. I have flanked this beautiful cabinetry with full-size fridge and freezer. So here we have the full-size fridge and on the other end we have the full-size freezer. And this I think is probably one of my favorites that I've seen so far to date. I love the lines, I love the mix of metals, it functions incredibly well and it just is a statement piece. This pantry is not just an area for food storage. This provides a whole area for the chef in the family or multiple chefs to prepare. I've put actually a separate wall oven here, which is incredible if you're baking, created additional storage space and ability for prep. So we have everything a cook could want and more from tons of storage and drawers to an access right out to the barbecue. So for the barbecue lovers in the family, a prep area, a sink, and just the ability to function seamlessly in your home. This lanai is one of the most incredible features of this home. It is a four season lanai. We have spectacular views surrounding us, but also we have these beautiful accordion windows that slide all the way open to reveal mother nature. We've created enough seating area here for a family, dining for eight, and we've also created this incredible outdoor kitchen and gas barbecue. This truly is an entertainer's dream. What I love most about this space is even in the dead of the winter, you can curl up with a beautiful blanket in a warm sweater and enjoy an afternoon. Maybe not what I'm wearing today, but you can definitely relax out here as a family. There's still a whole other part of this home as well. There is what we would traditionally call a formal dining and living room. The formal living space is a jumping off point for me for the home as well. I've pulled in the same design elements from the grass cloth to the beautiful linens on the drapes. 
but also here we've had a little bit of play on the furniture layout. I wanted this to read as two separate areas that live and coexist as one. This seating area to me is very key to what's happening in the dining room. It provides a beautiful view and overflow for the dining space and also makes it feel very cohesive and warm and inviting together for your guests. We've then created another secondary seating area as well, right off of the front foyer, which again is a spot that you can quietly relax and unwind and have a very private conversation. I think it creates a lot of movement, but also this sense of quietness and this sense of tranquility, which I think we all could use a little more of in life. Welcome to the formal dining room of this Grand Prize Show home. This room in particular has this incredible cathedral ceiling and beautiful light comes pouring in as well. We began with this stunning oval table. Seating for 10 can also be up to 12. We have a beautiful inset fireplace again to create added warmth. But also we have a few key design features, one of which being the mix of wall coverings that have been used in this space. So again, I've used a natural grass cloth, which I tend to love and admire, but also a new, very different feature here on the back wall, which is actually a concrete veneer finish. And this acts like a wallpaper, but is a very thin level of concrete. And it creates this beautiful sort of grounding moment on the back wall. There's also a special little interest that I have here on this wall, and this is an artist work. This is an artist called Anthony Valin that has created this specifically for this Grand Prize show home. He handcrafts these beautiful feathers and has created this organic movement with his feathers on the wall. He toured the home before it was even done, and he actually said, this is the wall that I want to create on, and I love that. Welcome to the library of this home. This space as well has a little bit of a different feel. I've chosen to do a much darker hued wall color and as well wrapped the wall colorings right onto the ceiling. It creates this cozy heaven where I think it's really important to feel inspired. We've created this beautiful working space here, whether it be for somebody working from home or that uses this just intermittently. There's an additional seating area in this space as well with a sofa and chairs. It creates a great spot to just curl up and read a book or to do some much needed work. There are tons of stunning elements in this home and we have just begun to talk about all of them here on the main floor, but there is a ton still to see, so stay tuned for more.